Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Miss Marley and we're going to be doing a video about names that I wanted to use but didn't end up using. time I'm not like too crazy about it anymore for my own child but I did like this a lot at one point and it was definitely never at the top of my list after I actually got pregnant but it was on my list of baby names that I was thinking about so that is why it is number one number two is stormy and I did like this because of Kylie Jenner mentioning it I definitely didn't like it because you know, I was like, oh, that's what Kylie Jenner likes. But I just really did like the name. But then I found out about the porn star named Stormy. And that kind of just like clouded it. And a couple months down the line, I didn't like it anymore. So that's what happened with that. Number three is June. And I like the name June because that was my great grandmother's name. I think it's really pretty. Her name was June Story and she was an actress. I just really like the name, I don't know. It's really pretty. Number four is Willow. This is one of like the top names that I had to decide between. I really liked Willow and it was just so gentle, but every time I thought of it, it just brought me back to the song, um, I forgot what it's called exactly, but the Whip My Hair Back and Forth song. Like, I don't know why, but since Willow Smith sung that, it just like got ingrained in my head. So whenever I thought of Willow, I thought of that. And that's definitely not what I want to like be thinking about. Like, I that song was so annoying. <laughs> but that was definitely at the top of my list. Just when she came out, she was not a Willow, like I could tell. She just, just definitely was not a willow. So that's why I did not go with it. But it was one of my top contenders. Number five is Esme. And I didn't really put much thought into this. Like it was never one of the top ones. But I did like it. And I think that I got the idea from Twilight. Because the little girl's name is Renesme. And yeah, it was pretty. But... It's probably not something that I'd ever name my kid. Number six is Maple, and this is another top contender for me. I was be deciding between this, Willow, and Marley at the, in, my, in the hospital. Like, that was my three top names that I was deciding between. And Maple, when she was born, I just really didn't like anymore. It didn't really fit her at all, and I after like she came out, I was so surprised that I hated that name. She just I, she came out. She was not a maple, and I was like, why would I ever think that? But the name is pretty. I just don't think that I would name my kid it anymore. But I tried to convince everybody around me to like it, and nobody really did. So. I'm glad that I didn't go with it. The next one is Rain. And this is one of those like really popular names right now. And that's definitely not why I liked it. I just wanted something nature related with her name. Like something that is just so peaceful and calm. But I didn't like it after the first couple months anymore. I really liked it as a middle name. But at the end of the day, I did not go with that for a middle name either because I didn't really like it anymore after I had her. Things change so much, in my opinion, after you actually have them. You're like, why would I ever pick that? The next thing is Ginger. 
I like this for a hot second, but my boyfriend's mom's dog name, dog's name was Ginger, so I just like couldn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> it just seemed weird since it was like a dog name, and that's what I thought of when I thought of Ginger. She's just trying to eat me. <laughs> The next name is Marlo, and I did like this name. I think it's really cute and pretty, but somebody in my family named their baby Marlo, and at the end of the day, I just liked Marley better than Marlo, but I did like Marlo. It's very gentle and soft, which is what I like with names. The last name I'm gonna talk about is Faye, and my boyfriend really liked this one. It was one of, I think it was actually his favorite because he likes F names, apparently. he realized but i liked it as a middle name just not really as a first name for her especially when she was born that was not her personality so we did not go with that but i do like the name i do have a lot more but that's all i'm going to talk about for today for the last part of this video i'm going to be talking about how i came up with her name why i decided to go with it and etc so her full name is Marley James Prieto Carpenter, and I went with Marley. Well, my mom actually mentioned this name to me a few months after I got pregnant, and I didn't really put much thought into it. Like, I did like it, but I was just trying to come up with something more nature-related, so I didn't really think about it. But as time went on, I actually really started to like Marley. I started to like M names. And I thought it was really pretty. And I felt kind of bad because if my mom ever has any more kids, like now she can't use it, I guess. But she really likes the name. But I stole it. <laughs> so, yeah. And then when I actually decided to name her Marley, we were in the hospital. And it was the last day that we would have been able to name her in the hospital. Or else we would have had to come back because... The birth certificate lady was leaving, so I think it was the last day at the hospital, so we had to decide anyways that I decided her name, and she kept coming in, and I was like, I'm not ready, I don't know, and so she had to keep coming back and forth and whatnot, but Marley was just like seriously the only name that I could think of that fit her. All of my crazy list of other names just no longer fit my little bundle of joy, <laughs> She just didn't seem like any of them, and I know it's crazy because it's just a name, but I feel like names really do fit people. So that's how I came up with Marley, and then for her middle name, James, I think it was in November to early December when I went out to California for my baby shower that my family out there was throwing me, and my aunt mentioned that my other aunt really liked the middle name James. And I was like, oh, that's unique. I've never heard that for a girl. And I was like, no, I can't do that because, you know, that's just something that she likes and I'm not gonna take that. But she was like, no, that'd be so cute. If I ever have a kid and I name her that, then, you know, they can have the same middle name. And I feel like middle names aren't as important as first names so it doesn't really matter like my middle name is Marie my grandma's middle name is Marie my aunt's middle name is Marie my little cousin's name is middle name is Marie so you can definitely uh, reuse that a lot so I guess I pretty much just stole a whole name honestly I stole Marley I stole James but I just really liked them I like those together I thought it was unique I've never heard James for a girl and her little initials are MJ, which I also thought were cute. If she's like a tomboy or whatever, she can go by MJ or not, whatever she wants. I just thought it was cute, honestly. And my uncle's name is James, which I also thought was cool because it was kind of like after him. So it was just like a lot of things that made me finally decide to do it. I was actually surprised that my boyfriend was okay with it. He was kind of like iffy about it at the beginning, but as time went on, he really liked it. So that is what we went with in the hospital. And it was kind of like a last minute decision. It was stressful, but yeah. And I didn't go with just his last name because 
I don't know. I like my I like my last name, and I just wanted her to have it. So I decided to put us both. But that is the name of how I decided her name, and more like how I stole a name, honestly. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. We're at our new apartment, so an apartment tour is coming very, very soon. I just need to set everything up. And I'm still ordering stuff, and stuff's coming in the mail. I was gonna do an unfurnished tour, but I decided against it because the first day that we were moving, we brought all of our stuff up here already, like all of our furniture and stuff. So you guys would have seen it anyways. So I decided to just skip that one and do a fully furnished one. So it's gonna be a couple weeks just so I can get everything from the mail and then order more stuff and whatnot. But it is coming soon and I am working really hard to get it done. Furnishing an apartment and all the little decor things and getting stuff for the kitchen is expensive. Very, very expensive, especially when you don't have much money, but I've been saving, so. That's what I'm using. <gasps> Say bye, Marley. <gasps> bye. Bye, guys. See you next video.